The goal of this uh, Facebook Live demo is uh, to tell you uh, what will be included with this uh, new release of NetBees. So uh, let's dive into it. Um, as you know, we have introduced um, a new redesigned dashboard and uh, uh, the incidents. So what are the incidents? The incidents are, uh, is a new way uh, to get proactive alerts from your NetBees dashboard. Uh, it aims at uh, aggregating alerts from uh, multiple tests that are running either under an agent or under a target. So for instance, if you have uh, under an agent, a certain percentage of uh, uh, alerts uh, that are, you know, are triggered because of an up-down failure or a performance alert, an incident will be generated uh, related to that agent. At the same time, if you have a, a, a certain number of tests that are triggering alerts under a target, those uh, um, alerts under the target will generate a target incident. And along with the new uh, incident concept, we'll have uh, a new redesign dashboard that um, is all about the incidents, bottom line. So let me show you how this dashboard looks. Here you go, this is a preview of the new release of 1.3. As you see, this is like our uh, demo dashboard. And as you can see, the bus stop has a, a redesign uh, view. And there are really three main sections that you should uh, be aware about. As you see, the top section um, has a different elements. On the left, uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, pulsating uh, blue dot which tells you that you're connected to the server and tells you also how many messages per second the server is processing right now. Um, think about a message from an agent uh, is uh, a result of one test, right? Because the agent keeps running tests and then sending real time the data to the server. So uh, at least you can have a, an idea of how much traffic uh, your, uh, your um, how many basically uh, performance test uh, your uh, server is processing. Then we introduce a concept of network rating from one to five stars. And this basically weights the percentage of agents and targets that have open incidents uh, here on the right hand side. So five star means basically very little um, incidents. Like in this case, we only have 8% of the targets triggering an incident and uh, no incidents under an agent. On the middle section, you see the web uh, um, uh, reports about agent and target performance. So for instance, you can see uh, under the uh, agent, um, here in this XY plot, you can see the number of uh, warnings and critical alerts, and each dot represents one agent, and is plotted based on the number of alerts in the last 24 hours. So this is very interactive. You can also filter agents based on, uh, um, you know, uh, their number of uh, alerts. And in the target performance, we group uh, targets in a histogram where they're grouped based on their uh, uh, HTTP response time. So as you can see here uh, in the x-axis, you can see uh, targets between, uh, that have an HTTP response time between zero and zero 0.5 seconds, between zero 0.5 second and one second, and so on. And also this list in, is interactive as you can click and review uh, the test performance data. On the bottom section of the bus tab, you can see uh, the agent and target uh, timeline. Like in this case, we only have um, uh, one uh, um, agent that actually had an incident, but now it's closed and it's the New York Wi-Fi. So if you click on the actual incident here, it was a very a brief incident, you can see what were the condition that triggered that incident. And in this case, we have had a trace route test that uh, caused the incident to be triggered and then closed. Likewise, on the target timeline, incident timeline, you can see that now we still have an open uh, incident. As you see, uh, this incident was acknowledged and open. Here you can see the condition that caused that incident to be triggered. And along with the incident, we also uh, added the concept of acknowledgement. Um, acknowledge incident 
is very useful when you're working uh, with your team on, uh, on supporting a network and you, you know, have to collaborate when alerts happen. So you can add, for example, annotation um, and you can see also who basically um, everything is okay, for example. You can add the annotation and communicate the status update uh, with your team. There are two other improvements um, related to the incidents and to the dashboard. Under the agent view, for example, we've introduced a, a list view, which complements the thumbnail view that everybody probably is familiar with. And in the list view, uh, we also, um, you can review all, the, all your agents deploying the network, the type, the status, and so on. And you can also filter this view based on whether the agents are reachable or unreachable, or based on uh, what type of agents uh, you want to uh, filter. The same, the list view is also under the target view. And as you can see here, uh, I have like a, that um, cloud app that trigger an ISA and that I acknowledge, right? Um, so also here you can filter incident uh, based whether an incident is ongoing or not. And then as always, you can also click on the incident itself and uh, access the agent detail view and also review uh, the incident timeline for that specific target. So these are the two major improvements uh, and new features for 1.3. Again, is the incident and uh, the basta and the agent and the target list views. But we have uh, three minor um, updates on, on this release. Um, you can run HTTP test with a proxy option. So for example, here I want to monitor google.com and for HTTP, I want to specify an HTTP proxy. And here is where I can edit that information. Another addition that we did is the iPerf. We introduced uh, uh, support for iPerf version three. There you go. And also for multiple parallel stream. So that's very useful if you're running uh, multiple uh, TCP tests to consume as much bandwidth as you, as you can. There you go. Okay, great. Um, so this is it for uh, today's uh, Facebook Live demo uh, that cover the new improvements and uh, the new release 1.3. Again, it will be available uh, next week uh, on your dashboard. You see the update uh, here on the top right um, yellow arrow. Um, generally, like when we push an update, uh, it will be actually then applied to your dashboard and agent automatically within uh, two weeks. But if you want, you can always reschedule the update uh, for a, a, an earlier date or time. With that, I wanted to thank you for, your, uh, for uh, um, attending this uh, Facebook Live demo. Uh, I wish you happy holidays and uh, talk to you next year.